guys, what's going on? Welcome to 7 Days to Die, creative building with my good friend, Ray. Hi there, buds. How are you doing? So today we are bringing you guys another video on a creative 7 Days to Die build. We have put a lot of effort into it and what are we looking at right here? This is the end of the runway. A runway, you ask? Well, we made an airfield. A very big airfield with lots of things to check out and I thought it would be interesting to make another video on 7 Days to Die since Alpha 11 is about to come out very soon I hope yep we could be out in the next few days well let's hope it is because it's gonna be epic so basically yep. we made um, an airfield we then uh, we we've been doing a lot of stuff and why are we showing this to you well we are going to do more some uh, more 7 Days to Die creative building like this but we want to invite you, the subscriber, the viewer, for the next creative build. So next time we're going to do something like this, build an epic, epic whatever, whatever comes to mind. We want your help, we want you guys to come in, help us with building, have some fun, and be in some of the videos. If you and would like that, of course. I know, so you can jump around on these bodies and make your squelchy noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that squishing sounds. That's uh, disgusting. Well, I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> disgusting. It <laughs> yeah. really is. All right. Well, okay. anyways, um, me and Ray, we've been doing a lot of work, and we thought it would be interesting to show you guys our process. And uh, basically, this was just a waste of time for us to uh, kill time in order to wait for Alpha Eleven. True. So that, that is true, Shane. Sure. That is really true. Yeah, we uh, just was, um, trying to get some new ideas for a series and next creative building and um, things like that. Yeah, we do have uh, something in mind for Alpha 11 um, creative build, but we're not going to say that yet. Nope. I was going to keep that That's as a little surprise. Yeah, yeah. Big, big surprise. But oh, yes. um, in mentioning Alpha 11 creative building, if you want to come along, leave a comment down below in this on this video, not in this video, on this video, leave a comment that you would like to join us in our next creative building and we will invite you for our next project so okay. if that sounds like a good idea you just have to leave a comment that's it that's as simple as that just leave a comment what Shane said um, in his um, comment down below on his video yeah and you're more than welcome to come over where the fuck what are you done here it's a tank man a tank you what the fuck you know is this it's a massive thing I made. It looks, like, it looks like something from fucking Mad Max. It is. Um, not really though. But <laughs> I was I was trying out different things, like making see if I can make a tank look as much as a tank would look. But it's kind of difficult. So I just basically did something that maybe resembles a tank. If you, um, yeah, if you look from afar of it. So this is can the hangar. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can just jump on the side. Sir? Just just jump on this side right here. Jump here. Then bam, and we go on top here, and then oh, that's wrong button. I oh wanted to fuck. open the thingy. Oh, right, guys, I'm sorry. I'm really confused at the buttons right now because I'm playing multiple different games. <laughs> I'm feeling like an idiot. But yeah, this is something Ray hasn't seen before. I made oh, yeah. this tank um, just because I wanted to try if it was possible. Looks quite stupid, but this now is then. as good as it gets, I think. Okay. Now then, is it? Up to the zombie test. No. Is it zombie proof? Yeah, it is zombie proof until they chew their way through the metal, of course. But well, it's not fucking zombie proof, no, is it? Not really. No. But it's. <laughs> it was fun to make this. <laughs> so, anyways, this is the massive hangar. Ray put a lot of effort into this, like making the aesthetics look as it should. Like this is an overgrowth um, area with some grass and some beautiful looking decoration very much paid attention to detail and I'm very very happy for um, his results he did this himself I did not help anything he did this entire thing himself and I'm very amazed at how how he turned this uh, into a uh, hangar like in the apocalypse that is so amazing well originally around there it was just a little fucking skip okay we got the visitors mm, okay well we have plenty of more things to go through so let's not waste any time so that was the hangar we um, have some military um, tents in front here because basically that's what you will find in the hangars is um, people guarding mil million dollar equipment probably most likely sure. so here we have is the terminal thing 
where um, there is some TVs and some things. We will go inside there in just a second. Here we have the control tower, and where has Ray gone? Where is he? Oh, I'm he's there. Yeah, I I'm see you. Um, I see you. There's one zombie here. Two zombies. Want to get it? Hey, dude, yeah, turn around. I'm behind you. Yeah. Well, never mind then. Get wrecked then. <laughs> I'd say so. They destroyed quite a bit of fucking glass. Yeah, well, the glass is one hit kill, so it doesn't really matter. Um. So here we have a massive looking control tower. Like Ray and I, we were kind of stuck on how to make it like a round looking shape, so we s decided to make it like octagon type of shape, and at least to resemble most roundness, because that's very difficult in seven days time, make round things. Yep, sure. So this is our control tower, we have, or at least Ray has put in, oh shit, it's locked, can you open it? What? What? I closed it in front of me and I can't. Oh, it's unlocked. Thank you. So, um, yeah, Ray has put a lot, a lot of effort into making this, like, look as a um, place where people have tried to board it off and try and stay alive during the apocalypse. Did not turn out that well to them. And this is actually something I've never seen before. Texture is missing here for some reason. What? Here. I, I see, like, a uh, stop sign looking thing. Stop sign? I don't know. Like, uh, never mind, it's not important oh, anyway. Yeah, 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 I'll put that up there. So oh, okay, right. so it's actually yeah. something. I, I've yeah, never seen that thing. before. Okay. Well, before the apocalypse so, um, came about, you know, you got um, no entry signs. Yeah. But also has personnel only. Um, let's, let's move on, by the way, while yeah, we are talking about I'll, this. Okay, I'll shut my fucking mouth. No, 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 please keep continue, but we no. have to um, speed things up a little bit. Because I have yeah. to go to work soon. <laughs> that yes, is also I something I have to deal with every day. Going to stupid work. And trying to yes. get some dollar dollar bill, y'all. Yeah, well, I'm, working, I'm virtually working from home. Alright, well, that's better than me, home. at least. Because I have to travel to my work. It's yeah, also a pain. So, yeah, basically another um, floor we made for the control tower. I'm just going to follow Ray. Because he did most of the detailing work inside here. I told you guys I'm not going to mention like who did what or who did more than um okay door is locked I'm not going to like uh, go through the things we did or who did what we both put in a lot of effort so let's just this stick way, it at it that was, it was equal yeah we did equal That's amount it. of work thank you for the opening the door you are very kind so, um, oh, I forgot. This is basically the um, check-in control point of the tower. A nice look overview of the um, lobby with the garage and restaurant area, which we will go into in just a couple of minutes. Um, I'm also going to mention this one more time. If you guys would like to be in next creative 7 Days to Die builds, please leave a comment. We would love to meet you guys in person. We'd love to hang out with you guys some more and... Um, try and uh, make some fun videos make some cool builds so leave a comment if you would like to join us in our next adventure yeah true you know, more the merrier I yes say. very much uh, there's only one stipulation on this okay um, long as you don't come in um, and decide to um, be dicks type of thing like yeah that. well we um, will we will start our own server yeah. basically um, you will not be able to kill us, so you will try to. You can try and dick around wh whatever you want, but you will not be able to kill other players because we are starting a PVE server next creative build. So don't yeah, worry well, about that. Um, don't really worry yeah. about the people trying no, to be dicks. I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about you know all the work and everything else. So oh yeah, uh, definitely. Messed up and, definitely. Um, but to destroy other people's that's builds. that's why Andy is going to come in handy because he's yeah. going to be our admin and he will keep an eye out. On people who try to um, counteractive our um, creative building. So Hello. basically, uh, sorry, I keep rambling like I always do. That's okay, no problem. That, that's you, all over. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, we won't ban you straight away. We'll just give. Uh, yeah, we will give some ourselves. warnings, of course. Yeah, we, we won't be dicks. We won't kick you straight no. out if you do it. We just want an explanation and uh, give you a um, stop on the wrist. I let you carry on building. It's not well, like it's gonna be like we're gonna whitelist people or anything, but we will definitely set up some ground rules in order for you mm. to come along and have some fun with us. Just be nice, be 
friendly to the other people playing in our game and just try and be as helpful as possible that's basically what we're asking for and Which for the rest you can do whatever you want well yeah by all means now if you want to kill someone kill all the zombies oh yeah, yeah. they're plenty full in this apocalypse yeah. all right so that's basically our control tower we made for the um airfield we've done yep. so i've really i really like the um, aesthetics ray did he's like he has great eye for details I'm just kind of like, I build structures and that's that, and I don't really pay attention to filling it up. But yeah. I really like this, because it actually legitimately looks like a building where you could haul out the apocalypse in. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Sure. Um, I need you again, door is locked. <laughs> what? Uh, downstairs. Well, I'm co yeah, I'm coming down here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Alright. So next up, we're going to go to the main um, thingy. Uh, what is it? The terminal, the terminal area, yeah. yeah. Waiting area, terminal, ticket office, restaurant. Yeah, why don't why don't why don't why don't you give a tour of the inside? Even though I made most yeah. of this. Yes. I want. This is the uh, thing. No, you have the honors, my friend. No, show, uh, I want I want you alongside you, with no, me, man. No, no, you show. Ouch! You show it off. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, basically, um. <laughs> 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 there was like um, one building here and I decided to make this the check-in lobby for the airfield itself. Now what do you think um, airfields need? They need parking lots, they need restaurants, like little shops where you can get your souvenirs and um, the terminal leading towards the docking area. So basically I incorporated a lot of things in this build and uh, Ray again helped me out with a lot of aesthetics like tables, couches, backpacks, survivors and stuff like that so it actually looks like a complete build in my opinion and it, it's just it is awesome because I have <coughs> spent a lot of time with MBF he's a great friend I always have lots of fun with him so I definitely wanted him to be in this video with me so <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, well, you've done a lot of work, man, and you need to deserve the credit. And you get uh, the credit, you know. So, basically... Guys, nice, don't listen to him. I don't fuck all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do listen to me. Please <laughs> listen to me because I always make sense when I talk. Not really, though, but... Um, yeah, this is where you basically check in. Ticket booth. Here is you can buy some, some beverages, maybe. And a waiting area. That's basically it. So um, this is uh, forgot. I have uh, upstairs here, yep. and I made a large fountain because um, it was kind of plain. There was nothing here, sure. so That's I sure. filled. Um, we filled it up. We made some uh, flowers here and there just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Next up, we have a restaurant area on top of the garage. So basically when you park your car and you still have to wait for your airplane to board, you can go here, have a nice brunch, lunch, dinner, whatever you want, chill out with some friends, and when it's time, you will go down and board the airplane. Oh, I forgot, most important thing, I forgot the, the garage where you park your car. Well, that is I was so stupid. Say you did show them that part. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. yeah, basically. Guys, yeah. actually, uh, the one uh, in the garage where Shane is at the moment, I think. Yeah, I am know? there. Yeah, yeah. If you look around now, I know for one hundred percent that um, the garages in Seven Days to Die, the car parks, they don't have piping going around. Shane actually put the piping in to make it more authentic, which I thought is freaking awesome. Yeah, it is just a small detail it makes it it breaks the awkward texture of the blocks kind yeah. of yeah but also i didn't like doing puzzles and yeah shane that's true the, shane put the cars together was it 12 parts yeah there? 12 parts like these um yeah. rusted up cars they take up 12 parts to put together so it was kind of puzzling but um yeah when you have time and you have fun with friends it doesn't really matter how long it takes as long as you uh just have some fun and do the things you want to do. That's yeah, most sure. important in our creative builds. Mostly have fun at what you do. That is very important. If you're not having fun, you might as well go home. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> screw, yeah. you, screw you guys. I'm going home. Yep. <laughs> All right. So basically, this is the walkway to the actual terminal. Yeah, I tried to um, 
Well, unfortunately, uh, we did put glass down here, but the zombies... Yeah, the zombies uh, will keep breaking it, so... Yeah, so we're not replacing it. Nah, it's... It's better for doing it. It's not really necessary anyway. You have the idea of what it will look like in general. So this is another waiting area with a lot of dead people who were very unfortunately got overrun by the undead when this apocalypse started. Yeah, I'll, there was a chance to get out um, on a small airplane. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it didn't happen. No, because and the airplane, you can see, crashed. It crashed, landed, and a lot of people died in that accident. And unfortunately... Yeah, but there you, were no survivors. Tell, this is only a small airport for a small town. Yeah, exactly. It's not for a big airplane like that. That's a supply airdrop. Oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You mentioned that. That is, yeah. That's good that you pointed that out. I think they, they had problems on the airplane, so they ended up thinking they could land here, but realized at the last minute they couldn't and crashed. Yeah, because the runway was too, too um, short. So, yep. They uh, came in too fast and yep. they didn't extend the uh, wheels to land and a lot of things went wrong yeah unfortunately the poor souls and um, some of them some, uh, what did survive end up turning into zombies from the yeah end. and all these people unfortunately yeah. Yeah. made their souls rest in peace in pieces um, in some cases yeah kind of it's definitely this person here oh really yeah. he, he's missing some um, genitalia Yep, I think that was eating so much upstairs. <laughs> Maybe he he was like um, the. No, we totally <laughs> <stuff with him. laughs> yeah, it's because of the the all you can eat buffet man. He just uh, ripped his ass out and something like that. Okay, we're we're drifting off the subject. Um, oh, yep, sure. This yep. is basically um, the check-in terminal with the garage, restaurant, waiting area, the terminal, the dock, and it is. Um, quite a massive build as you can see right here but we wanted to make it even more realistic by implementing an airplane crash now this was a lot of work a lot of measuring Ray and I we took about like three hours a day off to I don't know but it's one you uh, one subscriber asked me how long did it take in game to in do all game this? to all do I this I, I think know. in total we definitely spend at least two days hours wise so maybe 48 hours in total like doing every aesthetic little bit here and there and placing and replacing yeah. everything so we put in a lot of work but in the long run those 48 hours were a lot of fun we did have a lot of jokes here and there so we had lots and sorry I was gonna say how many times did I fall through the um, oh wow <laughs> <laughs> that oh, is yeah. um yeah well, I don't. Uh, I, I I assume you're um, in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. The <laughs> amount of broken legs you encountered. <laughs> so, anyways, we had way too much fun, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we had so much fun building this, and uh, we just let our creativity flow. See what we can come up with, and in here you can see all the supplies that we normally get from the supply drops in seven days die this is the supply um, cargo plane that crashed so unfortunately for the rest of our days we will have to live without the supply drops unfortunately yeah, and that is the door what we used to push down the supplies yeah, on exactly um, but here we chilling myself was trying to do an engine we didn't know what to use so we thought we'd try and experiment with air conditioning yeah I, I really like the way it looks because it actually resembles a little bit like an engine, the, um, yep. the texturing. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it looks like a filter, um, yeah. sort of. Well, we did tend to do turbines and that, and that's why we put them yeah. here. But, you know. It is quite difficult when you're limited at the sources um, for sure. building. So sure. it might look a little bit jagged, the airplane, but it resembles um, the shape, which was most important. Yeah, but later on you can go into Goldmore and do a flyover and show them what it looks like from the air. Oh yeah, that's definitely something I will do at the end of this video. And but we are already time. we are already um, coming up to the end of the video because this yep, is the sure. last part I'm going to show you guys. And this, this is going to be the is, last part of this. Um, um, this is also the last Seven Days to Die video 10. I will post on Alpha 10 indeed because yep. next alpha update is going to be alpha 11 and we are so excited we've seen uh, a lot of cool things going to happen in this new update so that's why we decided to show you one last time what we did how much fun we had 
and of course we definitely want to invite you guys for our next creative seven day style build for, for sure so guys all you have to do is message me or shane in um, our youtube comments that you are interested yeah, just leave a comment down below that you would like to join us in our next creative build. We would love to meet you guys in person, and we would love to hang out with you guys. Yeah, oh, thank you. you. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Let's, um, let's, let's, um, che cheers to that, man. This was yep. um, Seven Days to Die with Ray. This was a creative build. We had so much fun, and we will hopefully catch you guys in our next creative Seven Days to Die build. Oh, yeah, for definitely. Um... Till then, guys, stay frosty and cheers. Cheers. Uh, I'm not thirsty. I can't drink. Oh, I, I just drank mine. Yeah, I can't drink. I can, I can drink that for you if you want. Um, you, what? You um, want no, 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 never mind. Uh, there you go. You Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm an alcoholic, man. I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't drink because I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, well, guys, enough guys, goofing around. <laughs> you take care. Definitely. So this is the fun we uh, usually have in this creative building. So if you want to be a part of this, we will hopefully catch you guys in our next creative seven days die build. Until then, take it easy and hopefully we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.